Snooker 19 review. Well, it's been a long time since I've done a review, so I thought I'd give it a go. Right, so I've been Hello playing Snooker Yushan 19 on PS4 for the last five days, I think it's been. And I'm going to give my thoughts impressions and review for it so here's my snooker 19 review um well i'll start off with the good things and then i'll give a few negatives um the best thing about this game is the price it's not a lot of money at all for a brand new release which is quite nice it's i paid 26 pounds off amazon that's not bad and i've got prime of it for a month <laughs> um yeah, graphically, it's pretty good on the table. Actually, it's absolutely amazing on the table, I think. I think it's better than Hustle Kings, like, table graphic-wise. The physics are better than H Hustle Kings. Um, the players themselves, they don't look particularly amazing. And when they, when they do their little intro when they meet, they sort of don't look like how they look on the screen when it's loading up, you know? It's just their faces don't look the same. Um, it's a bit niggly. I mean, in previous snooker games over the years, and we've not had one for quite a while, they've always had this thing where the player graphics aren't the best. You know, this ain't FIFA at the end of the day. This is like, you know, snooker, which don't get half as many people buying the game. Saying that, it entered the charts in the top 10, so, you know, good for them. You know, we want to see these snooker games yearly. We, it has got its fan base, you know. Um, but, anyway, so like I say, the ball physics are spot on. Um, right, so I've sort of given you the positives really quickly, you know, because they are the main positives, the sound, the, the, the table graphics, the ball graphics, um... Uh, and that's, that's you know the commentary is pretty pants so i'll get all right, i'll get on to the negatives now okay i'll get on to the negatives um like i say the commentary is not the best it's um it don't seem natural and it doesn't always correspond to what you're doing on the game so like you could be miles ahead and it will say you're trying to play safe but actually you're going for a pot but it says you're trying to play safe it's like no i'm not man i'm going for a flipping long shot so it's not always there and you know i had a, a bug where it didn't affect the actual game i could still continue the game with the other player the ai but i had a thing where i fouled and it kept saying foul throughout the whole match on the scoreboard and it was like yeah that foul was shots ago man it was you know eight nine shots ago and it's still saying foul foul <laughs> it's like come on man um another funny thing that it does is what? sometimes you'll be playing someone who's like you know topsy ronnie o'sullivan or you know you name them they'll make the silliest mistake where it's like you know a, a blind four-year-old could have got this pot in but they'll cock it up for you and you know you've got another chance sort of thing now i have been playing this on the easiest setting i i fiddled with it just for a little bit against my daughter who she was playing on the easy set and i was playing on the next setting up and it, it, it's hard on easy with the aiming and the thing is my issue is when you line up a shot on the overhead screen, I'm sure in previous snooker games, it was really overhead, overhead. Like, you're you know, face down on the table looking from above. Where here it looks TV style, which is great. Don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic. Uh, that's what I kind of want to see. But I'd like the bit of choice, you know. Because the thing is, there's two sort of views when you play a shot. You've got the overhead shot screen. And you've got another screen where if you press X on the controller, you'll go into sort of your point of view if you were playing the shot and you'll see the arrow go into the pocket now the arrow that goes into the pocket on the overhead screen when you think that's accurate oh yeah it's going to go in when you switch to the other screen when it's like your point of view it don't it don't match up so it's very hard to play it with just one screen you have to keep like flicking between overhead and first person sort of mode and some people might not have an issue with that, but I used to be able to play the previous games just with using one table view, unless it was a really tricky shot. But I'm talking about some really easy shots that you go for. I'm talking really easy shots. The flipping, you can't even see if the line's going in the pocket. And it also does this thing where it, it opens up, like the 
the, the, the radius, if that's the right word for it, the radius right opens up because it's a harder shot. So it it's goes. like, normally it's like a lightsaber sort of line point into the pocket. And then it goes, the harder it is, it sort of opens up more. But it's, it's off-putting. It's, I don't know, I don't know whether I like it. And also, I don't know whether I like the fact that it's green, the line to pot a ball. So, like, you've got your white line where the white ball goes, and you've got the green sort of shady line where the um, ball you're going to pot's going to go. And I don't know if I like it being green as well as the table. But but when you take the shot, it's when it goes back to TV-style settings. And I think it looks good. Yeah, the players don't look amazing, but it looks like TV. So, thumbs up for that, you know. That, and to be honest, for the price you pay for this game, I think overall it's pretty good but it's not a must buy and you know if you want to wait to get it cheaper <laughs> if you want to go wait to get it cheaper it's already cheap um, but that's up to you I mean once the snooker championship's over I'm sure it'll come down in price maybe but um yeah it's it's not a bad game I, and another negative I know I sound like I'm you know really panning this game I'm not, I'm not panning because I'm enjoying it for what it is but I won my first tournament earlier on, you know, doing career, and I was against Ronnie in the finals. It was only like a best of five match, but, you know, it was close. We were two frames each, and, um, you know, I come back at the last minute, and I sort of won. And I thought, right, after all these matches that I've played, I'm going to see, like, real, like, you know, a congratulations sort of. You know, the characters like meeting each other, shaking hands and lifting a trophy and all that. And you know what I got? Nothing. Nothing. The presentation is terrible. It's like, you know, you lift a trophy after it. It's hard. It's hard getting to that point. It's taken me days to get to that point. And I've played loads of super games in the past. That's how hard I've found this game. And you get to the Brain. point where you win a trophy Brain. as a nobody. Brian, and you don't even get to see your character lift the trophy. Brilliant. You don't... It, oh, it's just... All you see is like the typical screen that you see after any match. And here's the biggest, the biggest no-no of this game. It's terrible, this is. If you play it online, they have a version where you, it's only a 20-minute match. You know, it don't matter if you're, like, so close to the other player score-wise. You think, oh, he's only, like, you know, two points ahead. You know, he's, I can come back. If Sorry, if the timer ticks down, it says, it don't matter if you've got, like, ten reds left on the table or what. If the timer ticks down with a few seconds and he's two, you know, two ahead or whatever, and you've got to go for a reg, you're going to lose. The game says no. You didn't well, get enough points in those twenty minutes, mate. Sorry, you're you're rubbish. You're out of this. And it's like, why did they think that was a good idea? Who 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 thought it's a good idea to have a snooker game where you play against another player and they say, yeah, but you only got twenty minutes. You know, you don't say that to bloody you know Steve Davis. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, say Jimmy White. Uh, Jimmy, you've only got like five minutes to play this match here. I know you're fast, whirlwind, but you know, you've got five minutes. You better leg it round the table like Big Break or something. 18. Come on, man. What are they thinking? Please, 20 please minutes to play here. a flipping snooker game. And and you get like, I think it's 20 seconds. 20 seconds per shot. So like, you're playing this shot and you're, you'll see like the timer coming down. You're thinking, oh God, come on, line it up, line it up. Come on, man. You know, apply the spin and you try and line up the shot from the two different viewpoints and you, you know, you're taking your time and you've got a rush and uh, you hear like this ding, 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 like counting down. You're like, what the heck is this? And then not only that, but the first time I heard it, I almost jumped out of my seat. It's like Operation the Game. You know when you like trying to get the things out, Operation the Game, you hit like the bones and it goes, Argh! you get that. And it's like, oh my God, this is snooker in it, not bloody Operation by MB. Flipping heck. So anyway, that's like, that's like my review of this game. There's, there's pros and there's cons. But at the end of the day, I think if you're a snooker fan and you played the previous ones, you're gonna <coughs> you're gonna kind of enjoy it for what it is because we've not had a super game for ages and yes you can get hustle kings for free off the playstation store but personally i don't i don't enjoy that game as much i just don't and um i think the i think the 
table looking graphics and the TV style gives it that edge over Hustle Kings, personally. That's what I think. And Hustle Kings ain't a bad game. I just don't like the physics of Hustle Kings. I think the balls stop a bit too quick in Hustle Kings. So, I do recommend this game. And, you know, for £26, I, I am kind of nitpicking. Whether it's adjusted a patch, they can improve, like, the player graphics or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I recommend this game. So, if you like this video, leave a like if you like. Maybe subscribe. And... I'm Benji J, you know it. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.